is your question. Right, so if you have read and understood, considering it is to take the station, kindly please begin. Hello, I'm Dr. Ahmad, one of the surgical doctors here in the clinic. May I confirm your, na your name and age, please? Yes, I'm Lisa, 66 years old. Welcome, Lisa. Uh, today I have been asked to ask you a few questions regarding your condition. Are you okay with this? Yes. Okay, first of all, uh, tell me, uh, how can I help you today, Miss Lisa? Uh, I've got this swelling in front of my neck from long time but now it's kind of giving me difficulty especially when i'm swallowing um food yes. so that's why yes. i'm here yes i'm so sorry for you uh, miss lisa and uh, we will find a solution here for your problem uh, could you please uh, tell me um, did it start suddenly or gradually yes gradually over the period of 10 years or so. okay uh, okay um, can you tell me uh, is it increasing or decreasing Yes, it's increasing every day. Okay. Okay. Could you tell me, is there anything to make it better or anything to make it worse? No, it's getting worse every day, not getting better. Yes. I'm so sorry for this. Can you tell me, uh, uh, do you have uh, any change in your appetite, increased or decreased? Yes. I don't feel like eating that much now. Okay. Can you tell me if there is uh, any unintentional weight loss? Yes. Yes, there has been weight loss, um, yes. approximately four pound over the period of last six, one and a half month. Yes, I'm so sorry for you. Uh, can you tell me, uh, do you notice any change in, in your vision? Um, not really, but yeah, my eyes get irritated. Okay, and any change in the in the shape of your eyes? No. Okay, can you, notice any, can you notice any irregularities or increase in your heart beats? Yes, sometimes I become anxious and my heart beats really fast. Yes, yes, I'm so sorry for you. Can you tell me if you have any diarrhea or constipation? I'm not constipation, but yes, sometimes it becomes a loose motions, yes. Yes, yes, can you tell me uh, if you have uh, um, any irregularities in your menstruation? No. Okay, can you tell me, the, uh, can you tolerate hot or cold weather? Yes, I feel cold. feel cold, okay. I'm so sorry for you, can you and tell my me? My voice uh, has also become really uh, harsh. It's not yes. the same as well, it's become more coarse. Yes, yes, I can see. Can you tell me, uh, do you have any mood changes recently? Uh, yes, I've become really irritable. I don't like, can't tolerate people too much, who nag especially. Yes, yes. Can you tell me, do you have a, do you, do you feel priestless? Uh, yeah, when I have to climb up the stairs, yes. Yes, yes. Uh, and uh, and you told me that you have a problem in swallowing. Yes. Okay, mm, okay. Can, okay, I'm so sorry for you. Uh, Miss Lisa, could you tell me, is anyone in your family had the same problem? Uh, no, not that I can recall. Okay, could you tell me, uh, do, you, do you have an increase in your body temperature? I don't know. I feel cold. Feel cold. Okay. Can you tell me uh, um, uh, uh, with whom do you live, please? Uh, I'm a widow. I live alone. Okay. Can you tell me, uh, uh, and you have a problems with, 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 with the stairs, uh, um, right? Yes. Okay. Can you tell me, do, uh, do you smoke or drink alcohol? No, I don't smoke. Uh, I used to drink, but not anymore. Okay. And what do you do for a living? I'm retired school teacher. Okay. Okay. Have Have you recently visited your GB for any medical problem? Uh, no, 
but I've been visiting my GP for this swelling. Okay, in and what? Of my neck. Okay, okay. Can you tell me, do you have any surgical procedures uh, before? When I was really young, I was operated for uh, my appendix, and then I was operated when I had my babies. That's yes, what. yes. Okay, can you tell me uh, uh, what's what is what do you think is the cause of your condition? I really don't know. I'm really worried. Yes, and I don't. I don't want you to be uh, worried. We can uh, figure out it. Can you tell me uh, uh, what uh, what you are more concerning about? Uh, I don't know. It, it just looks disfiguring, and I'm worried it might be cancer or something. Yes, yes. Can you tell me uh, if what you are expecting from us to do for you? Yes, I'm expecting you to treat me and get me better like I yes. was before. Yes, yes. Can you tell me, do you have any problems uh, when uh, with your uh, water work? No, that's okay. That's not okay, any, any problems in, in the joint or uh, muscles? Yes, sometimes, yes, I feel really okay. painful can you tell me, joints, yes. Yes, yes. Can you tell me, do you have cough or you have any chest pain? No. Okay. Uh, anything do you want? Do you want to add? Not really. I feel really irritated, and I feel really tired. I don't feel like getting up, yes, I, and I don't yes, feel I like can, doing anything. Yes, I can understand. I uh, understand your concerns, and this is frustrating for you, Ms. Lisa. And a uh, by these questions, we'll figure out your. Uh, uh, your problem and we will do some investigations uh, to uh, to find uh, a solution to find a diagnosis and a solution for your problem okay. thanks for your time Just nine seconds okay you can summarize your history okay today uh, i have examined uh, miss lisa a 66 year old uh, female a uh, patient uh, who, uh, who has been, who has been uh, who, who came to our surgical uh, clinic uh, complaining of uh, a swelling in his uh, in her neck uh, and the swelling uh, started uh, 10 years uh, ago and it, it has an acute uh, um, uh, it, it was gradual onset and uh, and from uh, uh, from 2 months uh, she uh, her, her swelling uh, become uh, more progressive uh, and the uh, patient has problems with uh, with her swallowing, and the uh, patient has uh, um, has a cold intolerance. Uh, patient has a change in her voice. Uh, patient uh, has a diarrhea. Uh, uh, together with a change in her uh, mood and loss of her weight, uh, patient uh, uh, has no um, uh, has no increase in her body temperature, uh, and um, and also uh, she has no uh, decrease in her uh, vision. Um, so, what so, are your provisional and differential diagnosis for her? So, my main uh, differential diagnosis will be toxic uh, uh, goiter, and I also uh, has to consider. Uh, uh, I also have to consider uh, thyroidites uh, and uh, malignant uh, uh, malignant neoplasm uh, or benign neoplasm for the thyroid. How would you confirm your diagnosis? What investigations would you ask? Yeah. Okay, um, for for any thyroid uh, lesion, I have to do uh, a quadruple uh, assessment for the patient, which will include uh, a full patient uh, uh, clinical assessment together with uh, a neck ultrasound and fine needle aspiration, and also uh, uh, thyroid function tests. And also I can do an isotope radio scan uh, for the thyroid. Okay, can you give me a few uh, reasons why a patient experiences sudden enlargement of thyroid gland? Okay, uh, it might be a, a hemorrhage uh, in, in any of the cysts uh, which might okay. be present in the toxic uh, mitonodular goiter. And also, uh, cerebrate increase in size might occur in case of uh, uh, malignant transformation. It might be uh, papillary or any, uh, any type of malignancy. Good. Uh, what is the treatment or management that you can offer to the patient? Okay, this patient uh, has to be uh, treated in a multidisciplinary team. Very good. Uh, the patient uh, uh, results for the investigation. Uh, uh, um, the patient has to do some investigations, also such as uh, such, such as the quadruple assessment we told, and also yep. uh, we can we can need a CT or MRI uh, uh, for delineating uh, the cause. Uh, uh, and for, for excluding metastasis uh, or malignancy, uh, yes. and and the patient uh, uh, in case of uh, malignancy, uh, uh, I can also do uh, also PET scan CT if it is malignant, and for case of malignancy, I have to do uh, a thyroidectomy, uh, uh, and also in toxic toxic 
goiter alts also have total thyroidectomy which may be hemi uh, near total or total uh, thyroidectomy and uh, also i have to replace the, the thyroid uh, 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 electroxine for hair for life all right good can you quickly tell me a few complications uh, which can arise because of thyroid thyroidectomy and you'll inform the patient about it yes i have to uh, inform her uh, that uh, she might had uh, a right recurrent uh, laryngeal nerve uh, injury, uh, yes, which might, uh, which might, yes, okay, which which might uh, cause her some uh, problems according to uh, the bilaterality uh, or uh, the completeness of the uh, tear. In case yes. of uh, unilateral uh, uh, injury of the uh, unilateral injury, in case of complete, she might have hoarseness, and in case of incomplete, she might has dyspnea on effort. And in case of bilateral, uh, in case of complete, uh, she might have aphonia. In case of incomplete, she might uh, had a stridor, and that may uh, uh, may need a tracheostomy, immediate tracheostomy postoperatively. Uh, and also, the patient uh, uh, might had uh, a problem with her uh, person, with her sympathetic chain uh, because of ligation of the inferior thyroid artery, and also the patient might have hypocalcemia because of uh, uh, iatrogenic injury for the parathyroid gland. Also, uh, the patient might have might have a loss of uh, high pitched voice due to injury of uh, superior uh, uh, superior laryngeal uh, nerve. Okay, good. And patient would the have membrane. to take pyroxene for the rest of her life. Yes, yes. Good. Very good. Excellent. Thank you.